Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and I'm back with yet another video for my 2013 video series on using Gmail. This is actually going to be part nine. It's an integral part of using Gmail that I left out in the original series. So in this video, we're going to talk about working with and managing contacts here in Gmail. If you missed the other videos in the series, go ahead and check them out as well. I'll link them in the description of this video here on YouTube. But for now, we're gonna talk about contacts. So. One really cool thing about Google is that when you send an email to somebody, it automatically adds them to a section of your contacts so that you can add them to your contacts specifically later on. And I'll show you what I mean here. So to access our Gmail contacts, we're going to go to the top left side of our screen where we see this little Gmail link. And we're gonna click on it to get our drop down menu, which allows us to access our Gmail inbox, basically our contacts and our tasks. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on contacts. And you'll notice that I go to kind of a new section here in Gmail and all on the left side you see some different categories of contacts and it says that I don't really have any contacts specifically under my contacts. However, when you send an email in Gmail, it saves that email address. That email address is going to be located under other contacts. So you can see I've got three email addresses under here. These are people that I've already sent emails to. So if I quickly go back to my Gmail account and let's just send a test message to john.doe at AnsonAlex.com, that email address doesn't actually exist. But if we just send an email to it, and we give Google a second here and go back to our contacts, I might have to refresh a couple times, but in a minute here, we should see that we now have four contacts listed under the other contacts. So you can see that John.Doe John .do at AnsonAlex.com is now listed under other contacts. Still not listed in my contacts because I haven't specifically added it to this section yet. However, I could go down here under the other contacts or the most contacted section. In my case, with this test account, they are the same. But if you've been sending a lot of emails out of your Gmail account, there should be a different set of people that you see when you click on most contacted and other contacts. You're probably going to have a lot more in the other contact section. But from either of these sections, I can just click the checkbox to the left of one of these email addresses. So let's say ansonalex2013 at gmail.com. And then I could go up here and I could click add to my contacts you'll notice that my contacts now has a number one next to it. And when I go check it out, I see that ansonalex2013 at gmail.com email address. So I could then click on this particular contact and I could add a whole bunch more information. You'll see that it's linked to their Google Plus profile if they've linked that to their email address. I could add a picture for them, phone number, address, birthday, homepage URL. So I could go ahead and put in http ansonalex.com for the URL. And I can even add some notes about the particular person. So that's kind of how you can add uh, people that you contact either on a regular basis or just people that you have contacted at some point to your specific contacts. Now, at the same time, you can also create contact groups. So you can group people so that when you go to send an email to, say, your family, you don't have to add everyone specifically from your family. You can just send it to the family group. So to create a group here in Google Contacts or in Gmail Contacts, I'm just going to go down to the bottom left part of this left sidebar, and I'm going to click New Group. You'll notice that a box pops up very similar to when creating a new label here in Gmail, and I can just call this Family. And I'm going to click OK. Oops, that one already exists from my Google Plus circles. I was going to talk about that in a minute here. Let's talk about, let's just say Family Emails because I still want a family group, even though they're not letting me create that one called family. So now you'll notice that under my contacts, I have this group called family emails. So let's just say everybody in my other contacts, I talk to them all the time, and I'm going to add them to my contacts. I can even select all three checkboxes at once and just quickly add them all to my contacts. However, of these four people, only these two, Aaron Alexander and Anson Alexander, are part of my family. So I'm just going to click on these two contacts, and now up here at the top of my screen, I'm going to click on this groups dropdown. It's just like adding emails to a label here in Gmail. If you watched my video on organizing your email and adding labels, creating labels, this is very similar. So now I can go ahead and I can click the checkbox next to family emails so that these two contacts are also added to this contact group. I can go ahead and click apply, and now when I click on family emails, I see just these two email addresses listed. So that's how you can create groups in Gmail and how you can add people to those groups. So now if we go ahead and we go back to Gmail and I go to compose a new message here, I could go ahead and I could send it to family. I just type F-A-M-I-L and you'll see that this family emails group pops up. 
I could then click on it to add everybody within that group. Now here's a really cool feature that um, is somewhat new here in Gmail because they've changed, changed things around a little bit lately. When I add that group, you'll notice that it adds each member of that group individually. So I could move these email addresses around here in my email. I could have it sent to Anson Alexander and just have Aaron Alexander BCC just by clicking and dragging that contact chip down to the BCC field. At the same time, maybe it's a family birthday and it's a surprise party and there's one person in this group who we don't want to send the email to because it's their birthday. So I could have the whole group added here and then just click the X to the right of the one person whose birthday it is so that I'm sending it to everybody in the family, but I'm excluding that one person because it's going to be a surprise for them. So you can see you've got a lot of uh, features within built in with these Gmail contacts that you can use as you're composing emails. At the same time, let's say we receive an email from somebody. So we'll just take a look at this fancy, I think this is kind of a newsletter subscription I must have put on this test account here. But you'll notice that if I mouse over kind of this top picture here at the top left of this email, I get this little profile box that pops up about this sender, what's up at fancy.com. I don't even know who that is. However, let's say that it's the first email I received somebody from somebody and I want to add them to my contacts, I can just go ahead and I can click the add to contacts button and it says saved and now it brings me into my contacts to this person's profile so I could add any information about this person that I would like in my contact card for them. And if I click on my contacts over here to the left, you'll see that the what's up at fancy.com is now listed. Now the reason it wasn't listed before was because I had received emails from that email address but I hadn't sent any to it. So Google does not add the email address to your other contacts just because you're receiving an email from somebody because it could be spam, right? But if you send an email back, that's when Gmail is going to add that to the other contacts and you can go ahead and bring it into my contacts. You can create as many contact groups here in Gmail as you want. Also, you can come right in here and you can create a new contact right within your contact section. You don't have to do it the other two ways that I already showed you in this video and you could add their name, email address and all that sort of information. So that's how you can add contacts here in Gmail. Um, they're really, really helpful. It really helps you organize who you're sending things to instead of having to add all those people to emails individually. I hope this video helped. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more videos coming out in this 2013 video series on using Gmail. I don't think it's ever going to end. I have more and more content every day that I need to publish regarding Gmail, Google Drive, and just the whole Google app suite in general. So thanks again for watching, everyone. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.